Hi friends, this is Ms. Maya. In the past few videos, we have been discussing the installation and setup of some top WordPress plugins, including WC Vendors, Polylang, and Google Sidekit for WordPress. Well, in today's video, I will show you how you can set up WooCommerce Currency Switcher plugin on your WooCommerce website. As a part of extending your online business to other countries, you will need multiple languages and as well as currencies, the multiple currencies in your website. This is important as most of the online shoppers would prefer making transactions in their own currencies. Besides, giving a choice for your customers will keep them engaged within your store. For WooCommerce websites, uh, there are many currency switchers that you can use uh, like WooCommerce Currency Switcher, Open Currency Converter, WooCommerce uh, Multi Converter or Currency Exchange for WooCommerce. In this tutorial, we will discuss WooCommerce Currency Switcher which is having 40,000 plus active installations. WooCommerce Currency Switcher has a free version and as well as a premium version. In the free version, you can only have two languages in a store. If you are uh, just in the beginning phase or it's just two currencies that you really need, you can use the free version. Otherwise, I suggest you choose the premium version as it can support unlimited currencies in your WooCommerce website. In this video, I will be showing you the setup of the free version of the WooCommerce currency switcher. So, let's begin with the installation. For this, go to your WordPress dashboard. Okay, this is a demo website of mine, uh, so there won't be much to show here. So, let's just continue with the installation. Go to the plugins options right here. Click it on and then click the add new button. Now here you can search for the plugins that you need. So let's type in WooCommerce Currency Switcher right here. WooCommerce Currency Switcher. Okay, here we go. Uh, here's the WooCommerce Currency Switcher that we bought. So let's click on the install now button. And then activate it. Now you can see the plugin is added to my WordPress dashboard. Now all you need is set it up. For this, let's go to the settings option. So click this option right here. Okay, now this is where you can manage the settings of WooCommerce currency switcher. Here you can see by default uh, there are two currencies, one is UST and the other is GPB. And if these are the two currencies that you want, you can proceed with them, fine with that. Uh, but for now, I will show you how you can add a currency instead of any of these. So to show you how you can add a currency, uh, let us use Indian rupees. Here is an option to add currency. But since I'm showing you the free version of WooCommerce, this add currency option uh, won't work as already we have added two currencies. So uh, let's just remove Euro uh, and add INA. So let's type in, click there and type in INA. Okay. And here's an option to choose the simple. So let's click it and click rupees rupees okay uh, we have done it now they have also given us an option to choose the position of the currency symbol like you can choose to display the symbol before or after the amount so here i'm choosing a uh, left itself so it will be like rupees one or rupees two now this option here is to choose the decimals by default it's a set to two uh, which says uh, that the two values after the decimal point will be displayed now you can choose uh, now uh, you can choose the base currency so i'm here setting uh, usd as the base currency so click this option just click it here and now let's save the changes Now, to make sure the currency rate are up to date, uh, you can choose a currency aggregator. To choose a currency aggregator, go click on this option right here. 
here you can see uh, by default the currency aggregators finance.yahoo uh, you can change it to any other aggregator you want here uh, i'll go with the finance yahoo itself also you can set auto update rates here so i want to auto update the rate daily so let's choose daily here it's completely up to you you can choose the option that you want and here there are some basic settings uh, which need no much understanding so i'm not getting into that click the save changes button now all the settings are saved now let's uh, visit the website let's just refresh it now you can see the currency is in usd as i have set it as a base currency earlier now you need to display an option to let the users switch the currencies so let's go back to our dashboard click on the appearance option right here on the sidebar and then click on the widgets option here is a list of available widgets as you drag down you can see options are related to WooCommerce currency here there is WooCommerce currency converter WooCommerce currency rates and WooCommerce currency switcher you can use any of these options on your website I'm going to choose WooCommerce currency switcher and add it to the sidebar in my website as I want to give an option to my website visitors to switch to the currency they want so let's just drag and drop uh, this option in the position that you want in the sidebar this is the sidebar so I like to keep it here click on the done button right here and now uh, let's take a look at the website here is my website just refresh it let me add a product to the cart Okay, when you click on the hoodie section, you can see there is a list and also here is a WooCommerce currency switcher. But it doesn't look like a currency switcher, right? Uh, it is not catchy. So what we can do here is set an image for currencies right here. For this, let's go back to the dashboard. Let's go back to the dashboard and then click on the plugins option right here. And here is the install plugins. Click on the settings option that comes with WooCommerce Currency Switcher, which is right here. Click on the settings. Here you can see there is an option to select the flag. So let's just click on it. And I have already downloaded PNGs. So I'm just dragging and dropping it right there. I like to uh, display it as a thumbnail so I'm clicking it and then click on this insert into post option now you can see the flag is added now you can see the flag is added now let's add flag for Indian rupees also dragging and dropping it okay. Click on the insert into post option. Here we go, it's done. Don't forget to save changes. Click on the save change button. Okay, let's go back to the website and see how that looks. Refreshing my website. Here it is. Now you can see and as well as understand it. So this is how you can install and activate WooCommerce currencies which are with your WooCommerce website. Thanks for watching.